Well, hi there. I'm going to show you how to do my Esme stitch. Really easy stitch, beginner friendly, um, and a lot of fun to do, and it goes up really fast, and it's really pretty. And it's good for shawls, especially um, cowls, anything that you want this uh, lacy look. You can see what it looks like here. Um, this yarn is quite shiny, so it is catching the light. And the other side looks really nice, too. Okay, and I worked out an edge that actually works with it because it's a very long stitch. So you needed a long edge stitch, and I wanted one that didn't curl. And um, managed to get one that actually goes with the stitch. It actually looks a lot like the stitch. So. It just looks like it's a part of the of the of the stitches and they just end at the edge. Okay, now this is stitch video, so I'm not going to tell you how to do everything. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do a project, but I'm going to give you enough tips and uh, tell you enough that you could go ahead and do a project yourself with a stitch. Okay, now the way I've done it, it's not curling and it's laying nice and straight. It doesn't curl really easy. I just used a slight treatment at the sides to keep the sides from curling and the bottom from curling. As you can see, it's just very, very straight. No curl anywhere. So I will show you how to do that. We are on a Cindy Wood loom. And this one is a 3 quarter inch, 30 pegs. It uh, was their set. I haven't seen them have this set for a while, but I'm sure they can make it up for you. But it was from this set that was like the, the Nifty Knitters. And so um, it was a really nice set they had. Okay, um, what else? The yarn. <laughs> you want to know about the yarn, I'm sure. Okay, it's Riot Chunky King by King Cole. And it's a bulky yarn, and this one is just a bunch of really beautiful colors. And it is a bulky, and it's 70% acrylic and 30% wool. And it has a shine to it, uh, kind of like landscapes or one of those kind of yarns, but it's a better quality yarn. It, it has a percentage of wool in it. Also, it doesn't break really easy. Okay, so... That's the yarn. And um, what else? Oh, my loom hook. Okay, this loom hook um, is made by a company that doesn't make loom hooks anymore. But if you go to Etsy, there are a lot of loom hooks on there that are very similar to this. So you'd be able to get one if you wanted one. But you wouldn't be able to get uh, this exact one. This one is wood and then it was painted. Yeah, so it's very, very light and uh, has a nice feel to it. Okay, so you can cast on as many stitches as you want, and they can be odd or even. I did um, 13, <laughs> lucky 13, and that would give me a, a, a scarf if I was going to continue with this. But I think I'd like to make um, a shawl or a cowl with this. But uh, yes, you could also make a lacier scarf too. Okay, so I've already done the edge panel. So I'll show you how to do these edges. Now, the edge is two stitches. So I've marked the stitch here. I All I used here was from a needle knitting. It says a needle knitting ring size Small, and it's a silicone ring. I got it on Amazon uh, really, really economically. A whole bag full of these really vibrant colors. And they just sit on there and they work perfect 
to mark places. And then over here, I just have the two, two yellow ones here marking this edge. So that means we treat these edges the same and we treat these edges the same. And then um, that's all we have to do to mark the loom. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the stitch. Okay, I'll go nice and slow. It's really, really easy. One row, one peg stitch. Can't get really any easier than that. And it's a long stitch and it's up in no time at all. Okay, so you're going to do an E-wrap and then knit it off. Okay, and then you're going to do another E-wrap and knit it off. And you're going to come back and do a U-wrap. Okay, you did the two E-wraps. You're going to come back and do a U-wrap on this peg. And you're going to want to hold it snugly, but not so snug it comes forward like that. You're going to want it to look like this so that you can easily knit it over. Okay, and then you can snug it up a bit and then E-wrap, knit it off, E-wrap, knit it off, come back to do the U-wrap keeping it like this so that you can easily knit it over and tighten. E-wrap, E-wrap, back to do a U-wrap. And if you were to get too tight, you would never get that over. So if that happens, just loosen it up like that and then you'll be able to knit it over. Okay, and then snug it a bit. So U-wrap, or E-wrap, another E-wrap, and then a U-wrap. And tighten. E-wrap, E-wrap, and U-wrap. E-wrap, E-wrap. You wrap and if we just leave it here for a second and we take a look you see how much longer this is than here just really really gonna grow look at how much more work we have than over here just very very grows very very fast you can whip up fancy uh, Fancy scarves and cowls for Christmas gifts in no time at all with the stitch. Okay, E-wrap, E-wrap, and U-wrap. E-wrap, E-wrap, and U-wrap. E-wrap. E wrap and you wrap and then we're at the two edge stitches so here's how we're going to do that when we first approach them we're going to do a purl on peg one of the edge stitch and a purl on peg two of the edge stitch and this is what's going to keep the edge straight and prevent it from curling then we're going to come back over it nice and loose. Make sure that's loose. Now we're going to knit this edge over nice and loose. And then from behind, we're going to come back in front and knit it over nice and loose again. Now that puts three stitches on each of these pegs, which actually balances with this so that the edges will be the same amount of work as what's going into the body so it will hang straight and be nice and look similar and have the same amount of stretch. Okay, so then after we do the edges like that, we come back and do an E-wrap, E-wrap, and a U-wrap this way. Okay, so E-wrap, E-wrap, 
Q-wrap. So that's all we do. It's the same stitch. E-wrap. E-wrap. U-wrap. E-wrap. U-wrap. U-wrap. Okay, and snug. Now we're just going to do that right to the end. And then we'll work that two peg edge. And it's nice to have some stitches like this. So if you have to come up with a quick shawl, or cowl can get one in no time at all. And it doesn't look like you did something so fast. It looks pretty darn fancy. <laughs> okay, so here we are at the edge. And this, uh, getting all tangled up there we go so when we come to the edge what we do is we purl peg one of the edge we purl peg two and that's what's going to make it lay flat we come back nice and loose and we want to be really loose we want this to be over there like that and do this nice and loose. And then we go back around and come over it nice and loose again. And that's what's going to give us the length that we need at the side. Okay, so we can take a look at this again. And as you can see, it's grown quite a bit. Doesn't take any time at all. And uh, a really, really pretty, pretty stitch. You can kind of hold the, the shape for you so you can see what, the, what it's like here. It's really, really pretty. And on the other side, looks really, really good too. Has good stretch. And um, of course, you always stretch your work when you're done. But I'm going to hold it open so you can see the pattern better. So if we were to use a thinner yarn than this, it'd be more like this. It'd still have all this fancy work in here. Oh, I didn't tell you how I did the, the cast on either. Okay, so I just did a chain cast on and this cast on will be linked on this video. You just scroll down in the description and you'll see it and the bind off that matches it will also be there. So I did the cast on, then I did one row of knit and one row of Curl just so that this would lay flat. So when you go to the end, you want to do the same thing. So right when you're done, you're going to do a row of purl, a row of knit, and then cast off. And that's all you'd have to do to do a flat panel with this. Pretty easy, and I've showed you how to do it the edge. And you can do any edge you want, but what you have to do is make sure your edge is long enough or what's going to happen is if let's say we just slip this well that would be really really tight in here and so it would never hang straight you need a long edge with a long stretch stitch like this and um, the best thing you can do is to try to get one that actually goes with the stitch So there you go. So 
it's a pretty easy stitch and um, this is all that there is to it so i hope you enjoy it and until next time bye